Welcome back to Learner's Haven! After going through the first three basic operations of mathematics in our previous videos, we are now ready to learn the fourth basic operation, which is division. So, let's now continue learning while having fun. We will begin with the basic facts about division. Division is the process of distributing a number into equal parts. Division is the exact opposite of multiplication. Division can also be expressed as repeated subtraction. Division is represented by either division sign or by division bar, just like what is shown in our examples below. Just a quick trivia, obelus is the other name for division sign. Division sentence is composed of the following. Dividend or the number that is being divided. Divisor or the number by which dividend is being divided. And quotient or the answer that we get when we divide numbers. There are times that remainder or the portion of the dividend that is left over after division is present. <laughs> In division sentence, 5 divided by 3 is equal to 1, remainder 2, 5 is our dividend, 3 is our divisor, while 1 is our quotient, and lastly, 2 is our remainder. Another basic facts are, any number divided by 1 is equal to itself. Any number divided by 0 is undefined. The division of the same dividend and divisor is always equal to 1. We must keep in mind, learners, that the remainder is always smaller than the divisor. Next, if there is no remainder, the quotient and the divisor are always the factors of the dividend. For example, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. If we're going to multiply 3 by 2, that would give us 6. One more thing, if there is no remainder, the dividend is always a multiple of the quotient and divisor. Let's say we divide 10 by 5. That would give us 2. If we would review the multiples of both 2 and 5, we will be able to see that 10 is present. Let's try to divide single digit numbers. That's a good idea! For our first example, let's solve 9 divided by 3. Let's say we have 9 strawberries and we need to group it by 3. Let's count on. 1, 2, 3. So, 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. We have 8 watermelons and we need to equally divide it into 4 girls. How many watermelons each girl will have? Let's count on. 1, 2. 8 watermelons divided to 4 girls is equal to 2. Well done! Let's solve another one. Sure. This time, it's 6 divided by 2. If we have 6 pairs and we need to divide it equally to 2 boys, how many pairs each one of them will get? Let's count on. 1, 2, 3. 6 pairs divided to 2 boys is equal to 3 pairs. Good job! Now, let's proceed with dividing multiple digit numbers. In dividing large numbers, we can use the long method. In doing so, we need to follow four simple steps or the acronym VMSP. V is for divide, M is for multiply, S is for subtract, and B is for bring down. This is the main reason why we should know how to do the first three basic mathematical operations before continuing to division.
let's first try dividing the two-digit dividend with a single-digit divisor. Let's have 96 divided by 3. The first thing that we need to do is to divide. For this example, we will start by dividing 9 to 3. How many trees that we could get from 9? 1, 2, 3. The answer is 3. So we put it above the quotient line, aligned with 9. Second step is to multiply. Multiply your answer from step 1 to the divisor. So that's 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Write your answer under the first digit of your dividend, which is 9. Step 3 is to subtract. Subtract your answer from your dividend. That's 9 minus 9. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. Step 4 is to bring down. Bring down the next digit from the dividend. Then, repeat all the procedures until you finish all the digits in the dividend. So, let's bring down 6. Then, repeat the process from step 1. So let's divide 6 by 3. That would give us 2. Let's put 2 on top of 6 and multiply 2 by 3. That would give us 6. Let's subtract 6 from 6. Our answer will be 0. Is there any digit that we still need to bring down? None. That means that we are done. 96 divided by 3 is equal to 32. For our next example, let's try to divide 3-digit dividend with a single-digit divisor. Sounds challenging. Let's solve 794 divided by 5. Let's start with 7 divided by 5. The answer is 1. Then, we multiply 1. And 5, that would give us 5. Right. We need to subtract 5 from 7. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Let's now bring down 9. 29 divided by 5 is equal to 5. Great. Now, let's subtract 25 from 29. That would give us 4. Let's bring down 4 to give us 44. What is the answer if we are going to divide 44 by 5? It's going to be 8. Good job! 8 times 5 is equal to 40. Marvelous! Now, we need to subtract 44 and 40. That would give us 4. Do we still have any digit to bring down? None. Meaning, 4 will be our remainder. 794 divided by 5 is equal to 158 remainder 4. Now learners, let's try dividing multiple digit numbers. Let's start with 3055 divided by 25. Just keep in mind, learners, that in dividing multiple digit numbers, we just need to do the same procedure that we used earlier. The only difference is that this time, we need to start with the first two digits of the multiplicand, since our divisor is composed of two digits. Let's start with 30 divided by 25. That would give us 1. So, 25 times 1 is equal to 25. We need to minus 25 from 30. Our answer would be 5. We need to bring down 5 to give us 55. Again, let's go back to step 1, which is division. 55 divided by 25 is equal to 2. 25 times 2 is equal to 50. Next, let's subtract 50 from 55. 
that is equal to 5. Again, let's bring down 5 to give us 55. 55 divided by 25 is equal to 2. 2 times 25 is equal to 50. Let's minus 50 from 55 to get 5. There's no digit left to bring down, so meaning 5 will serve as remainder. And we're done. 3055 divided by 25 is equal to 122 remainder 5. That's it, learners! We are now done with the basic mathematical operations. But before we end up, just a friendly reminder, never look at your flaws as a weakness. Instead, always consider it as an opportunity to grow and learn new things. Thank you, learners! Please like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends and classmates. And kindly hit the bell if you want to be notified every time we upload new videos. Also, if you have a topic that you want us to discuss, just comment down under the discussion tab or follow us on our Facebook fan page at It's Learners Haven Official and we will be more than willing to create a video for you. See you next time, learners!